Hello everybody, and today we're going to be creating a chess game. So, you can see here the finished product, which we're not going to completely get to today, but we will eventually. So you can see here there's the full chess board and all the pieces, and you can click and move the different pieces. And yeah, it's just a fully functional chess game where you can also uh, take the enemy king and see who won, and then tap to restart the game. So, let's get started working on this project. To start off, we want to go into our Unity Hub and create a new project. And we want to do this 2D. So I'm just going to call this Chess App Development 1 and create. So let's get started with the project. So we now have Unity loaded and can straight away go into game and make sure that we have the 9 by 16 aspect ratio because this is actually meant for phones. Alright, we can go back to the scene and click down here in scenes and rename this to game because this scene is where the whole game is going to take place. We don't actually need any other scenes. And then just click reload here and then go back to assets. Now we're going to need to go to the internet which I have pulled up here and download Pixel Chess. This is where all of our art is going to come from. So I can just, oh, whoops, click and download real quick. And then we're going to be able to import this into our project. So we can create a new folder called Assets. And inside there, make a folder for all of our sprites. Once that download is finished, we can open it and we can actually just find all of the green chess or you can do a different one. I mean you can choose a different color for the game board because they have multiple and we can actually open sprites. And then once we open sprites, we can just uh, drag all of these in there or we need to extract first actually. So I can just create a new folder real quick called art, extract all of it into art. And once we open art, we can go back to our project and drag all of these in from art. So we now have all the assets that we'll need for this game, minus a few little things, but we'll get to that. So we can drag the board just right onto the screen and make sure its position is right at zero, zero. And we want to scale it up to three by three. So there's a little bit of space on the edge, but I think that's fine and it actually doesn't look that bad. The next thing we'll want to do is go back to the main camera and change the background to black or whatever color you'd prefer. It doesn't really matter. Now we can just check out how it looks so far. So yeah, we have our game board here, but as you can tell, it looks a little bit blurry. So in order to fix that, all we need to do is go into the sprite asset and change the filter mode from bilinear to point. So you can see here that the image is much more sharp. And yeah, we need to press apply. Yeah, so it doesn't do any of the blurring effect that it was doing before because we're dealing with pixels and sprites here, so we don't want uh, there to be the bilinear filtering. So I'm just going to press Control and